UK rapper and entrepreneur Fredo is currently being named as the co-conspirator in a case where he is alleged to be purchasing guns in order to have Digger D shot. Marvin Bailey, aka Fredo, is a high-profile rap star hailing from the Mozart estate of West London. He is a notable gang member from the HRB, Harrow Road Boys and Patton Gang. Reese Herbert, otherwise known as Digger D, was one of the people that were lined up to be shot when the guns in question were being purchased. Up to eight people in total, who are all part of the HRB or Patton gang members, are denying conspiracy to possess a firearm with intent. The eight who went on trial deny a second charge of conspiracy to contravene the Prisons Act by smuggling in mobile phones. One of the alleged members has been prosecuted for possession of drugs. All eight members are in HRB gang and hail from the W9 and W10 postcodes of West London. The prosecution had stated that HRB are in a deep-rooted opposition with other gangs, which was deadly, and that there is a history of tit-for-tat shootings between HRB and other gangs. The prosecution brought up the fact that the violence that is ongoing was glorified in YouTube drill music videos. He would say that the raps seek to brag about the actions of one gang, and at the same time belittle or taunt opposition. This then fuels more animosity to keep the cycle continuing. In this case, the prosecution would bring up that in 2020, HRB member Billy McCulloch, aka Billy the Kid, was killed and his death was later commemorated. Later on in 2020, Jeffrey Wegby, known as Gucci, was also shot dead. The prosecution would also bring up the fact that Little Dots would use music to brag about death in a song where he would reference somebody by saying that he was rolling them up and smoking them. Lil Dots' brother was also killed in 2022. After these deaths were brought up, the prosecutor would state that the guns were going to be used to shoot Digger D. The guns that were supposed to be used were found in a cupboard next to a flat on Mozart Estate. They were forensically linked to Little Dots and other gang members. The police would also search a flat and find a third gun in November of 2022. This is where things would get even more interesting, as it seems one of the members of HRB was arrested. And this would give the police access to the Snapchat group chat, which contained 33 HRB members. They were openly on Snapchat talking about gang activities, including how to get funds to buy guns and how to get mobile phones delivered to gang members in prison. This is absolutely crazy. I can actually not believe what I've been reading so far. This is absolutely wild. These men were really doing up criminal plans on Snapchat. I can't believe it. But either way, Two HRB members were arrested following this when they were in a minicab with Fredo, who was wearing his BDK chain at the time. BDK stands for Billy the Kid. Billy would sadly die on a ride out in enemy territory when he was in Stonebridge, North London. The prosecution would point out that Fredo was wearing this chain in particular, maybe to try and conclude that he was buying guns to get revenge. They would also note that Fredo has quite the obvious pattern gang tattoo. These facts and the Snapchat evidence put together, it's not really looking good. But let's remember, rappers usually don't use their own social media, so he probably didn't really know anything that was going on in his Snapchat. The prosecution would also note that when they had raided Fredo's office in February of 2023, that they saw a mural painting of Fredo standing beside his deceased friends who had halos above their heads. Two of the defendants who were also accused are featured in the mural. The judge on this case would be passed a note from the jury. The note would say that they did not want to be politically correct, but that they thought that it was odd that the jury was entirely white, while the criminals were entirely black. The judge would respond to this by saying that the jury had been picked at random and that it had nothing to do with colour. The jury then was reminded by the judge that they must return a verdict based only on the evidence in the case. Honestly, this story is wild, but the trial is set to last until at least August. There's so many rumours floating around about this and that. I'm not going to touch on those, but guys, what are your thoughts on this whole situation? Let's be real, Fredo is one of the elite rappers in the UK right now. For him to be getting caught up in all of this right now just goes to show you that money truly is not everything. We can all sit here and say what we would do if we were him, but the reality is, is that He's lost numerous friends due to conflicts in the streets. This kind of trauma can lead you to not really being able to process things properly. But at the same time, 
God has blessed Fredo with a talent. And seeing people waste talent is truly sad, to say the least. If you guys want to know how Fredo and Digger got into these situations, let me know in the comments and I'll try and make a full-length documentary about it all, if you guys are interested enough.